Okay, um, next track, I Will Follow You. Yeah, that's the most personal track on the record. And uh, I always try and write quite personal lyrics. And even on Justified and Haunted Bones, there's some quite intimate stuff on that that maybe doesn't come across like that because of the sound of the song. But with I Will Follow You, uh, that song deals with uh, a lot of stuff that's been going on in my personal life over the last 18 months. And, um, you know, I've, I've used music as a way of getting a lot of emotion out and trying to deal with some quite tough stuff. And so, um, when we got back from Spain last year, which was our first tour together, like three days after we got back from Spain, um, we had a doctor's appointment with my dad and he got diagnosed with Alzheimer's. And um, so the last 18 months has been kind of crazy dealing with a lot of family stuff that I've never really had to deal with before whilst also touring my last album, writing and recording a new album. And so that song, which was the last song written for this record, just feels like a, a kind of, it sums up that, that period of time. And it's somewhere you can give a release to put down how you've been feeling as well. So you've got yeah. that, and, and not being funny, but heartache and family issues and personal issues always make for good songs at the end of the day, yeah. um, because you're honest in your writing. Well, the emotions raw, it's true. Yeah, it, it comes across, it, and it comes across that way as well. And I think everyone can relate to that somehow. You know, it, it, one way or yeah. another, yeah. yeah absolutely. Exactly. It's what people take from the lyrics. So whilst Jack's singing about following his father, people can look at other figures. Oh, I follow my sister, I follow my mother. You know, Everyone has a different personal, unique take on it, and that's what... That's what so makes it nice and cheesy, but that's what music's so yeah. great. You know, everyone can take different things. I, th I think we talked about this uh, whilst on tour, and I think it's one of the, the things that makes a band be a band which is well we're, we're mates I mean we talk about our personal lives and we talk about music and we talk about movies we like and uh, I think that reflects on the performance when you're on stage yeah. uh, people see that you are somehow connected it's not like it's not it's not a job because when one hurts everybody hurts yeah, yeah so exactly yeah. so we Brother. all try to yeah. support each other and talk about these kind of things and if you're on tour and you with people that you actually don't know uh, that means you can't share that kind of stuff and uh, I think the way we play the song has to do with the, the, the story behind the song because we know it as well and it has to do with our own personal uh, lives and um, and I think we, we talk about this like the album so diverse in terms of heavy songs, ballads and um, I think I said that to Laz or, or, or Jack, good things and bad things that happen in you know, life at the same time, you don't get to choose. I'm going to leave it at like the best moment of my life, and nothing's going to go wrong. And I think Jack's been through a great moment in his career and a tough moment. Personal, yeah, yeah, personal. But we just have to get on with that, and uh, he's doing really well in terms of like pushing for his music to to get out there. And it, I think it should be a relief to him, I guess. And um, and and Charles is just fantastic to be a part of this. I mean, it'd be worse if I was if I'd been through quite a tough time in my personal life and was writing shit tunes. At least it's come out in a really good song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least we get to make good music, yeah. Thank you, thank you. And it's good to have support as well from these, uh, these Actually, two clowns. We're clans. all there for each other, it's really nice, you know, things happen. I mean, yeah, you know, Jack's dad, my, my grandfather passed away a few months ago, Felipe. Everyone has their troubles and it's just he's nice that we can... He's giving up Guinness. Yeah, well, that's the <laughs> toughest moment in Felipe's <laughs> life, guys. Having to give up Guinness. But now everyone goes through stuff and it's just nice not to be colleagues and to be friends. Oh, it makes it, yeah. It's nice friends. most of the time. So, so the next track, Lucky Man, is that re reflective of the previous track? Or was that just the way it was on the album? Yeah, there, there was definitely a decision made in terms of the track listing. Uh, also, you know, that, that song is quite, you know, the previous song is quite um, reflective and melancholic. You need a really badass song to follow that to kind of wake people up and be like, okay, it's not all fucking shit. What the tears so, yeah. Down, yeah. <laughs> uh, so Lucky Man, which we've been opening our sets with uh, on the tour, I just fucking love that song. I think it's got a really good riff, a sort of Rival Sons riff. The verse sounds like Aerosmith and then the chorus sounds like Oasis. So I think yeah. it's quite a good combination. Yeah. Really. So, so no influence then, yeah. <laughs> as long as they don't all start suing me. <laughs> so, uh, Peace of Mind next. Yes. Talk about that. How did that one come about? Uh, that song, bizarrely, uh, considering it's quite a complex tune, took about 30 minutes to write. Some of the songs on the record took fucking ages, but that song just came out. And uh, it's meant to sound a bit like Free, with a bit of a kind of black crowsy bit in the middle, 
and uh, yeah, I think it's a really cool tune. It goes down really well live, but it's almost like telling a joke because it, it ends about three or four times, and then people think, oh, we'll you know we'll quit now, and then the, the next bit, and uh, yeah, it's uh, it's. It's Southern Rock's answer to Bohemian Rhapsody. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't think anything else needs to be said about oh, yeah. that track. That's, that's, that's going to sum up better than anybody can do in the press. Perfect. <laughs>